Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio, and I'm here live in England with James Jacob Prash. And Jacob, uh, good afternoon to you. And one of the believers had the question, what does it mean that Zerubbabel was the Lord's signet ring? And of course, that comes from Haggai 223. Okay. First of all, the background of the book of Haggai. Haggai was the predecessor immediate predecessor of Nehemiah and Ezra. He was the prophet, the initial one, who spoke at the end of the Babylonian captivity when some of the people returned to the land of Israel and to Jerusalem and gave the message for rebuilding the temple. At the end of the book, which is only two chapters, he speaks of how the Lord was going to overthrow the thrones and the kingdoms and the, and the power of these kingdoms, and, and also the military might. Now this has a twofold meaning. It has a meaning for his own time, certainly, that God's judgment was going to fall on the other kingdoms of the ancient Near East, and that would happen in a rapid succession. Obviously, as the Assyrians had already fallen, Babylon fell to the hands of the Persians, and the Medes, who sent the Hebrews Israelites back, at least those who wanted to return, but then the days of Persia became numbered with the invasions of Alexander the Great. Western Europe invaded the Middle East with the, uh, with the Greeks under Alexander. That's a prophecy for that time. But Haggai, again, was also prophesying for the last days. He speaks of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel is, is interesting because it has the idea of somehow a seed of, uh, that came from Babylon. And Babylon has, has, can have the meaning of Leva in Hebrew, confusion. He came out of this confused world. Well, anyway, the idea of a signet ring in the ancient Near East was it was the emblem of the one designated or the one that was chosen to have inheritance and authority. This went on for centuries in other cultures, not only in the ancient Near East, but in Europe. The tradition of, of kissing the pontiff's ring, when the emperor was the pontiff, the pontificus maximus, that was passed on to, to the pope. Uh, you always had this kind of symbolism of, of, of the ring or the ring that was chosen. We also see this idea in the parable of Jesus of the prodigal son. In any event, in the Hebrew text, it does not say that he would have or that he would wear or he would receive the signet ring. That's not what it says. It says he will be like, he will be like unto one, declares the Lord. I will make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you. You are the one I have designated at this time to speak this message and to perform this task. That's the meaning. And Jacob, just to back up on, on Haggai as well, on verse one, uh, chapter 1, verse 4, is it wrong to live in a nice house? The problem that Haggai, remember his name had to do with holiday or festival, Haggai, Haggai, festive. The problem was people were consumed with their own interests, their own luxury, their own temporal life, but they were turning a deaf ear to the things of God. Well, today it is much the same thing. People will invest in a temporal life, but they will not invest as much in missions and evangelism. This is indeed unfortunate. That's the kind of situation he was up against. It was not a problem that people lived in a nice house or an expensive house. The problem was they were doing that, and that was their focus. Their focus was not on the things of the Lord. In fact, very often, as we saw with Solomon, when people put the things of the Lord first and made that their priority, God would add these other blessings. That's not saying that God always will, 
what it is saying there is a possibility God will add these other blessings. A guy was contending with wrong priorities. He was not contending against um, living in a nice house. He was contending against a wrong sense of priorities that the people were having. Thank you, Jacob.